Hi, my name's Julie. I'm one of the advanced clinical practitioners working at Northumbria Healthcare Trust. You might see me in your antenatal clinic or within the maternity department. Today I'm going to discuss the induction of labour process with you and what you can expect on your admission to the birthing centre. Prior to your planned date of induction, you will have been offered a membrane sweep by your community midwife. So a membrane sweep involves an internal examination from your community midwife where she will examine to see if your cervix has started to dilate, if it has shortened at all and where the baby's head is located within the pelvis. If your cervix has started to dilate what you can do is pop a finger inside your cervix and then sweep around the floor that effectively lifts the membranes up off the wall of the uterus and can stimulate um, your natural labour without involving any medication. You'll be offered two membrane sweeps one week apart depending upon the timing of your induction. On the day of your planned induction, you should receive a telephone call from the birth and centre coordinator between 9 and 10 a.m. advising you of what time to come in. If you haven't received a telephone call by 11am, please don't panic, sometimes it's just because of the workload of the unit. Please feel free just to give the birthing centre or pregnancy assessment a call and they will clarify any timings for you. On arrival to the unit at your allocated time, you'll be met by your named midwife who will introduce herself and show you to your room. All of the rooms are en suite. You will have an ultrasound scan just to confirm the presentation of the baby and then we'll perform the routine monitoring of the baby's heart rate to just establish everything is normal um, and happy before we proceed with the induction. During this process you will meet a member of our medical team who is on call that day or you may meet myself where we will come in what's officially called clocking you into the unit and that's basically just summarising the history, making sure that we're both aware of the lead up to your induction, the reason for the induction, any potential risks and also that you understand the full process that's about to happen. Following this induction, you will then have a vaginal examination from your midwife who will assess the length and dilation of your cervix. If your cervix is long and closed, that, that can be classed as unfavourable and what that would mean is you would have a prostin gel that's put vaginally um, into your, um, behind your cervix. You will stay on the monitor for a further period of time just to ensure the baby's happy um, following the examination. You can have three of these examinations six hours apart so it is very common to come into hospital on the day of your induction but not actually start your labour process until the following day. Once you've had an examination and your cervix is shortened and dilated, then you'll be assessed to be suitable for an artificial rupture of membranes. That's a process where you have an internal examination and use an amni hook um, where we can rupture the membranes. The process itself is just uncomfortable because the internal can be uncomfortable, but it shouldn't cause any pain to you or the baby. Again, any kind of intervention we recommend monitoring of the baby so you would have a CTG following this to ensure that baby is happy with everything that's happened so far. Normally you would be given a further two hours to um, be mobilising or sitting on the birthing ball to allow a labour to establish itself. Rupturing of the membranes itself is an induction process and can stimulate labour. Very similar process to your um, membrane sweep. If you haven't started contracting, labour's not established, then we would normally start an oxytocin infusion. This is a synthetic version of the natural oxytocin that your body produces and it's given via an um, intravenous infusion. We would um, recommend continuous monitoring when you have this infusion. We do however have many telemetry wireless machines so you can be connected no wires and can mobilize around the the room so when you've got the monitoring on without the wires it means that you can get in and out of bed you can walk around the room you don't need to worry about the wires you can go to the toilet and we can continue to monitor the baby's well-being
Once your labour is established, we would normally recommend vaginal examinations every four hours just so we can ascertain that you are progressing in labour, that the baby's head is descending. We would normally estimate that you would progress half a centimetre an hour in labour. So in a four hour period, we would expect you to have dilated two centimetres. It is worth mentioning that the examination isn't just about dilatation, it's about the height of the head, the length of the cervix and the thickness and thinness. So you can make a lot of progress and try not to get too fixated on that dilation.